Kikora. I see a lot of familiar faces, but for those of you I don't know, welcome to all of you. Um, I am the president of Gallery North. We are thrilled to have you all here tonight. This is, as you know, the gallery's 50th anniversary celebration. So it is now my great pleasure to introduce the treasurer of Gallery North, Doug Dalgard. He's going to come up and introduce our honorees tonight. You all should have a very warm feeling in your hearts as to where the gallery is today after 50 years. It's simply amazing. But as to tonight's business, we're going to pick uh, and honor three uh, people in our history who stand out uh, and in, in our gallery's 50-year journey. And the first one up is Steve Engelbright. And um, uh, yeah, it's been it's been an interesting journey, but the journey isn't over yet. And uh, I'm so honored to, to have a chance to join with everyone here uh, in extending beyond this extraordinary uh, 50th anniversary the promise and premise of Gallery North. This is the, uh, the very essence of our creative aspirations as a community. With uh, every sense of investment uh, the state uh, of New York has been helping the gallery grow toward its promise. Uh, and uh, the most recent uh, commitment in that direction is a, is a grant which I'm pleased to be able to announce this evening for $60,000 for for general operating support of uh, the work of the gallery. But the $60,000 doesn't come without a challenge. In fact, it is literally a challenge grant. And uh, you must, in order to uh, receive that $60,000, you have to raise $60,000. Not all at once. You don't have to, <laughs> you don't have to uh, be uh, worried that before you leave here tonight that you'll be held hostage. Um, tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> the purpose is to not only memorialize the 50th anniversary, but also to recognize that continued investment, both from the public and from the private, joined together is really something that offers the best of all possibilities for enhancing the <coughs> wonder that comes from this wonderful place. Thank you for all you do. Give generously, help us match this, and I promise there'll be more. Thanks very much. <laughs> Our second honoree is Dr. Phil Plumato. Phil has had careers in physics, entrepreneurship, corporate management, finance, consulting, and as an author. Did I get everything? <laughs> I know he's listening. But to sum up, Phil, um, you're a true Renaissance man and a fine gentleman. The gallery has and continues to benefit from your wisdom and your support, and so we honor Phil Palmetto. Thank you, Doug, very much. Uh, I must say, though, ah. a little unfair having me speak at this. <laughs> I'm not bringing 60,000. <laughs> uh, but I, I really uh, was very touched by uh, being honored by an institution that I feel very strongly about and obviously have been involved with for a long time. Um, 
In thinking about this event of uh, the last few days, I realized something that Gallery North was is growing old at exactly the same rate that I am. <laughs> but there is a difference here. Um, Gallery North can still run a mile. In fact, it's um, as vigorous and creative uh, as it was uh, when it was born 50 years ago. And I take some solace in that because uh, I know that an institution that I have believe in very deeply will continue to, to be an important part of this community, to be creative, to support artists, and uh, to develop itself into the future as evidenced by the Community Arts Center. So I'm very grateful for Gallery North and the honor that you've given me tonight. Thank you. Uh, our third honoree is Virginia Vinnie Fish. As the daughter of Virginia Fuller, one of the founders of Gallery North, and Daniel Fuller, owner of a textile business, Vinnie Fish grew up with an unusually strong feeling for form and color. It's no surprise then that she became a photojournalist and a fine arts photographer. Her work has been shown in Salt Lake City, Laguna Beach, Berlin, and of course, Gallery North, the world wide. Life, Newsweek, Glamour, and New York Times, and Rolling Stone have all published her photographs. With her late husband, Bill, she came to the Setauket area in 1980. In 1987, she joined Gallery North's Board of Trustees serving as president of the board from 89 to 97. Under her guidance, Gallery North received our tax-exempt status as a not-for-profit. Very valuable. After she retired as the president, then he remained trustee until 2004. In 2005, she was elected trustee emeritus in recognition of her leadership at Gallery North. Then he remains in Florida and can't be here to personally accept her gift, but Liz Fish is here uh, to accept in her place, her daughter. I think she really enjoyed the position of helping somebody. Honestly, I really do. When she was a little girl, she wanted to have an orphanage. And that really, it, it, it sort of grew in increments. <clears throat> that thought of giving to people and making life better for other people. I mean, she really was very serious about it, and it just was a part of her. It was part of her fabric. And that was more important than anything. And then she, she was crazy about my father. I mean, they had a very close relationship. I think they were very much in love with one another and respected one another tremendously. I think she grew up as a girl from the Middle West who believed in the certain principles of America, you know, America, <laughs> and uh, cared a lot about them and wanted to make it better. And No, I think she was quite serious about it. She went to classes, she went to the new school a lot, and, uh, and she and Marjorie hung out together, you know. <laughs> they both wanted to do something, I think it started with that. And Marjorie had already started her classes with uh, Guy Penny Dubois and different people. Marjorie was popular, 
So people and people admired her for doing what she did. And she was a big personality. She was always a part of it, the board meetings, and she was always... And Mother, I think, tried to really push off some of the stuff she didn't want to do to Marjorie because Marjorie was so actively interested. Atmore was a very... <laughs> I don't know how to put it. He was a strong-minded, very up front, <laughs> um, but he had a heart of gold, and he loved Mother. He just loved her. And he understood what she, he did understand what she was doing and trying to do. It's marvelous what it gave to the community. You know, before that, honestly, there were only exhibitions of horses and shows, horse shows, you know. I mean, it was such a different kind of community, you can't believe. <laughs> and, it, and it changed the community because many people moved in who were more interested in the arts. And, the, and then, of course, the university. Oh, it made a big difference. And Mother always took an interest. She didn't always work at it at all, but her heart was there. You don't know where you came from, you never get to where you're going. And uh, that's very helpful. So uh, next on the program, uh, Valerie, uh, Brookhaven Councilwoman Valerie Cartwright has some proclamations. We are here to celebrate a great accomplishment, 50 years. But we know that those 50 years is just the foundation for the next 50 years and for the next 50 years after that. And I look forward to being a part of the continued growth of Gallery North. Know that the town of Brookhaven will continue to be a political partner. So I wanted to take a moment on behalf of the town of Brookhaven to say thank you to each and every one of you in this room for the contribution that you have made to Gallery North. And particularly thank the honorees and um, give them a token of our appreciation for all that they have done. So I would ask the honorees to please step up. So we say with heartfelt congratulations on your 50th anniversary and sincere appreciation for your many years of artistic and cultural enrichment of the Three Village community in Long Island. Gallery North continues to be a hub for artistic education, creative expression, and a champion of local artistic talent. And all of this is presented on behalf of the over 500,000 residents of the town of Brookhaven. I'm now very pleased to introduce our director, Judith Levy. Many of you know Judith, and you all should. Judith earned her BFA in printmaking from the Tyler School of Art at Temple University and her MA in art from NYU. She also has training in art therapy. She's been the director at Gallery North since 2010. And since then, she has started two arts and healthcare programs at the gallery, which I think you can hear a little bit about. And her vision has propelled us in creating the gallery's new community art center, which I know you're gonna hear about. This year, Judith was recognized as Brookhaven Town Woman of the Year in the Arts. Thank you, Val. I'll be quick. <laughs> because we have some other things to do this evening. But I would like to thank you all for coming to support the gallery in this event and on a daily basis. And especially thank the artists who work diligently interpreting the world for us in, in 
fresh and inventive ways. The main thing that um, you haven't heard too much about, and I'm only going to give you a few brief points, is the Community Art Center. And for those of you who have not been up over at the gallery recently, the Community Art Center is fantastic. <laughs> it is fantastic. I would like, where's Alex? Alex. I would like to thank Alex Delamenti um, and all the It has skylights and a window wall. It, it will house a collaborative uh, printmaking program. It has a real artist studio environment. There will be a media center for demonstrations and films, lockable drawers for artist members so that they can bring whatever it is that they need to leave there. So I can't wait to take every one of you into the community art center. I mean, you don't even have to twist my arm. I'm always ready with the cake. And um, it's just been a fantastic experience. So, that's our news. Tonight, we're going to have an auction. And we're going to have some, a little energy about our challenge grant, thanks to Steve Engelbright. And to do that, we have an actual certified Christie's auctioneer that we've promised. And it turns out, Allison Delaney is not only uh, has worked at Christie's for about five years, but she's also a member of the community and she grew up here. So I'm gonna turn it over to Allison now and we'll see where it goes. <laughs> There'll be a lot of gavel banging, so hopefully I'll knock my water off the ledge there. <laughs> Is everybody ready for some fun? All right. anniversary to Gallery North. Happy 50th anniversary, Gallery North. Say it together. Happy, Happy 50th, 50th anniversary, Gallery, Gallery North. North. Happy 50th anniversary, Gallery North. Happy golden anniversary, Gallery North, to 50 years and 50 more. Happy 50th anniversary, Gallery North. 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 Happy Birthday, Gallery North. Happy 50th Anniversary, Gallery North. Happy Anniversary, Gallery North. Okay. Wait, are you like on? So this whole time you've been on? <laughs> No, I totally can't do it.